and also known as Hyundai Town, powered the country's transformation after the Korean War. Now, some call it South Korea's rust belt in the making, dogged by Chinese competition, rising labor costs, and an over-reliance on Hyundai itself. But at one time, workers could make triple South Korea's average salary. Ulsan's got Hyundai Heavy, the world's biggest shipbuilder, and Hyundai's car-making plant, also the world's biggest. We had about 3,000 foreign engineers living here. Welding sparks were seen day and night, and we were flooded with money. That was just 10 years ago. This month, after 36 years in Hyundai's shipyards, Ha is being forced into early retirement. He's joining some 27,000 workers there who have lost their jobs. All of my friends have left, and I'm the last man standing. I've had so many regrets. Just like many others in Ulsan, Hyundai was Ha's life. Workers there wear Hyundai uniforms, live in Hyundai apartments, and send their children to Hyundai schools and universities. The company's downturn has had a devastating effect. According to the local hospital run by Hyundai Heavy, there were 182 suicide attempts in the first half of this year. When it came to job losses, shipbuilding was hit the hardest. Auto workers fear it could be their turn next. Experts say it mirrors challenges faced by America's own Rust Belt in the 70s and 80s. It could be worse here than the U.S. since it's all about Hyundai and its suppliers. There is no alternative. Hyundai Town continues to shrink. As young people flee the city in search for jobs, it's become the fastest aging city in South Korea. 